<laughs> Did you have that on video? Let's talk wiring. So the wiring on Carl has been going on for quite a few months now. It took a long longer than we expected, so y'all haven't actually seen it yet, but it's happening. Painless Performance gave us all of the wiring that we needed for Carl, but in normal wiring harnesses, you don't usually get the special wiring needed for an older car, specifically the wires needed for my wiper switch and my manual foot pump. Okay, so today we have to rewire um, this. The, these are our wires to, that go from our switch for the wipers to the motor. Am I right? Yep, you got it. We have to add on a little bit to this because in my car, there's a foot pump that sprays the washer fluid, which we've already put in. Go see that video. Um, <laughs> and go. But we looked everywhere and you cannot buy one that has an added on foot pump because they just don't do that anymore. So we're going to take this, add on a foot pump, but first we have to do some research on the original wiring. So that's the switch, mm -hmm. right? Here is the pump. Yeah, no, this is the, this is the motor. That's the motor. Yes. And then here's the foot pump, the two guys on the foot pump. The new wires we have are these two guys mm -hmm. that go to the pump. And in your pigtail, mm -hmm. these are the two that are connected. These are, it's this white and blue. Mm -hmm. So we need to separate these, get them over to the pump mm -hmm. wires. And then it looks like we've got an additional green wire mm -hmm. that gets wired in okay. to that guy. So in the wires that we have right now, the blue and the white are connected to each other. And this wire doesn't exist currently. Um, <laughs> but we need to cut them and then splice them onto the wires for the foot pump. Right. And add an extra wire because this has an extra wire. So we have some extra wire from wiring uh, the instrument panel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that and figure out what color we want to go where so that when we're actually doing it, we just know immediately. <laughs> we also have um, some colors are represented by other colors because we don't have, we don't know how to do white on a white board. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we also don't have black, so that's represented by purple. So, enjoy the color interpretation. Who? Uh, uh, we know what's going to the green. We know that gray is going to Yeah, the okay, so the, yeah, that's going to be the gray. This is gray. That's gray. The blue on the switch, what do you want to do? You want to do red with blue? Yeah. With blue for the switch. Oh, that is a pleasant sound. <laughs> Representative. All right, so that's red Come with on. blue. Okay, so the white to go to the white on the pump. What floats your boat for that? Let's go pink. Pink. Like the same colors on Gotcha. All right, and then for the motor. All right, so you're gonna do red with yellow yep, for white. This is yellow. Naturally. And then we're gonna do gray with green. Okay, the good thing is that we can just get all these wired into the pigtail and then cut it to length in the car. So let's go do that. Cool. Uh, cool. Nice. So this looks like a hot mess, but we have all of our wires. If you can see the ones that are like hanging, this is, these are the original wires. These are the added ones. So we're gonna go get them measured and cut to the foot pump, wrap them up, and then put them in. 
I'm gonna temporarily get the switch and the motor in place so that I can see how long I need to make my extra wire. But no, 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 keep it Cool. All right. Those are great. Okay, let's put it in the car. Okay, so we have the harness all set up. It looks weird, but it also looks like really good. No, it looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And we did this. Me and you did this. This is so great. Fitting in? Yep. Definitely a snug fit. Yeah, I'm just trying not to like hurt my hand because it's getting like... Here, do you need me to push it? No. No, you already did. Did I push it in all the way? Yeah, does it look like? Nope, we still got a little more to go for full contact. Yeah, let me see. Thank you. Here we go. I'm not as good as the camera. Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, that. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I'm crying. Wait, okay, we're. There are a lot of components. You know what end is up? Okay. Yeah, then it just press that. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, get it nice and snug. You're not gonna hurt anything. I know, but I just I it's the second time I've if it slips, it's okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. It's all right. How's it feel? Tight. It doesn't think... Perfect. I don't think it's going to move it. Yeah, the Allen should yeah, just yeah. go on the flat part. Maybe tight, tight enough. There you go. That's it. Nice work. I think that's it. I think they're all in. Yeah. Okay. Please work, please work, please work. I, I was barely pushing on it. Good. So, we only have one little wire left, and that's the wiper that connects our whole wiper wiring system to the harness. So. I'll put this. Good job. It was really great to make this custom harness for the car. And I can't wait until all of the wiring is done so we can test it. What I'm taking out the garage this week is that not everything in this world is pre-made. Sometimes you have to look at a problem and figure out the solution for yourself. Thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter. And if you would like to support me, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ellie's Garage. I'll see you next time in the garage. That's pretty good. Tight? It's good. All right. Well, we did all this wiring and somebody didn't push record. It's my fault. It was my fault. I was taking the blame. Okay.